Hello, my lovelies. You okay? Welcome to the second episode of Sue Thinks Aloud. As you know, I'm in the UK right now. There's the flag, and I'm just doing some cultural exploration. Sue thinks out loud. Sue thinks out loud. Since when are thoughts not allowed? So I walked up to white people and asked them to show me their dance, but they haven't been very helpful so far. Hey! Hey, you okay? You okay? So show me some like British dancing. What do you mean? Like, you know, Brit pop, Hollywood, Western dancing. Come on, just show me a step from like Greece or a. Uh, Spice Girls! Which step? From which song? You know there are many Western dancing traditions out there. Right? Just anything. I'm so confused. So I've had to do my own research. And this is what I've learned. First one I learned from looking at people in clubs, especially white guys. Hold your drink and nod with the beat. That's it. Just hold your drink and nod. This one step I'm struggling to learn. I saw an older Anglo Indian man do it, so not only is it white, it's also vintage. I know about the ethnic Maurice dancing. Morris? Doesn't matter. But it's basically Dandia, so obviously I'm not interested. And of course, you have to know the Macarena. Asara he, ha, a he, a heaven to the heaven, say we know by Mahavi and the boogie and boogie and appeal. Asara he, ha, I'm pretty sure it's in English and I just don't understand the accent. This step is my favorite. I did it on the street to show my friends and a drunk white woman stopped me and said that was a great pirouette. I have no idea what the fuck is a pirouette. But hey, she said I danced great. So it gave me a brilliant idea. I know my dance skills are great, but they're not perfect yet so once I learn a few more things I'm going to start my own Hollywood dancing company so I can perform at events where brown people want to see white dancing but don't want to hire white people I can also teach other brown and white people because if you know something semi well from a fascinating culture why not make money out of it and I know that probably a lot of white people can do the things that I can but it's my business idea and not theirs so... There is such a demand for white exotic cultural things but brown people somehow like it better when they get it from a brown source so I'd love to bridge that gap and promote cultural appreciation. I gotta go with some white people dancing on YouTube. So exciting. Um, anyway, break a leg. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.